So I'm at Popeyes, right? Just chilling, and I see this couple come in. And you can tell it was bad energy from the get go. So as they come in, there was another girl in there, and the girl that was with her man, they knew each other. So they were like, oh, hey, girl, hey, girl, what y'all doing? They gave each other hugs, gave each other kisses, and uh, the guy, I guess he was just nonchalant. He was like, hey, what's up? So the, the homegirl's asking the couple, so what y'all getting in today? She's like, so the girl, she was like, yeah, we're just getting some Popeyes. You, girl, you know I got to pay because, you know, <laughs> X-Nay on can't keep a job, eh? And I saw him, <laughs> I saw him give her the side eye down. Where I'm from, where people start giving you the side eye, there's usually an ass whooping not too far behind. So she was like, yeah, girl, you know I got to pay X-Nay on the can't keep a job, eh? So the girlfriend... Say, oh, what's wrong? He can't keep a job, girl. What's going on? They hiring all over Dallas. Everybody moving here. Everybody getting a job. Legal, illegal. Hell, some place even hire children. Why he can't find a job? So they talking to the man like he not even there. I said, oh, Lord. He said, hey, 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 hey. Stop talking about my personal finances in public. Because now more people are starting to go in, which meaning more ears, which means more of his business is going to be out in the street. So long story short, they kept talking about the man's finding. Yeah, girl. So uh, you guys going out to the state fair this year? And so they were planning ahead. She was like, girl, he's broke. And I'm damn sure I ain't going to pay. Look, girl, you know we can't do nothing. You know we just stay around the house. This man won't work. He won't go to school. He won't get no certificate. Truth be told, I'm only with him until I, my real man comes along and sweep me off my feet. I said, oh, damn. He said, y'all better stop playing with me. So they continued the conversation. She was like, but I'm just not understanding. Like, is, does he have some type of medical condition? Does he, uh, I mean, what's the issue? Why this man ain't working? Why your man ain't working? She said, girl, you know what? My cousin... No, no, no. He just got out of jail. If you're looking for somebody, girl, remind you, the man's listening. He's about to put his order in, Papa. He said, girl, he just came out of jail, but he's a hard worker. He's a hustler for real. He get that bag. He get that bag, and he's about to go into trucking school. He's planning on getting him a house. Look, girl, I can hook you up. If you serious about leaving him, I can hook you up with my cousin. He gets out in three months, but he, he, he good people. He, he just slipped up. Girl, when he went in, they busted him with $50,000. I'm Girl, he gets the money. And so the guy said, y'all going to stop playing with me on this goddamn Popeyes. You understand what I'm saying? So the cashier come out. She's talking about, are you guys ready to order? And before the guy can turn around and tell the cashier where he wanted, she was like, first off, I'm paying. So why are you even hollering? Why are you even tripping about what me and my homegirl is talking about? He said, you just disrespecting me talking about you going to leave with her cousin? When he get out of jail, what kind of shit is that? And the girlfriend was like, hey, don't you be talking bad about my cousin? That nigga work, unlike you. So they going back and forth, back and forth. Guys start yelling up, I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of this shit. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. So I took my biscuits. I took my French fries. And I got the hell up out of there because I know that this man's about to set it off. So I went home. I went to my mama house. We were chilling. That Popeyes that I was just at three hours earlier was shot up. Now, now y'all tell me who y'all think did it. Mm-hmm.